guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Wing Gaming. And as some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with the Let's Play episode of Nico Jishi, Senpai's Path. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you were up, and let's go. Let's go, girl. Okay. Dude, alrighty. Right, I've got another question. Have you ever heard about Ali... Uh, Adi... Adridrin... Gade. Oh, yeah, Adrian Da? I let out a noise. Leopard had suddenly spoke out loud, out loud next to me. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Uh, uh, what's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Oh, yeah, kinda. Anyway, you ever heard about a god with the name Adrian Gane? Adrian Gane? I'd have to ask. It'd be great if you could. Thank you for all your help. It's no problem, really. Piece of cake. Now that that's over, I pretend to tell you how that I need that I need to that I need to use the bathroom so I can get a chance to talk to Leopard alone. So, uh, Leopard, Zhao said that he didn't know about any clouded leopard gods in the Rukai. You know anything about that? I've been putting this off for a while, but I decided to just ask him straight out. He probably knew I was suspicious of him anyway. Best to just ask. I am no god. I am spirit. Spirit? I am spirit. Not god. Hmm. So if you're not a god, Jihao, Jihao was right then? Yes. Okay, so are you the leopard who led the Rukai to Utai? Yes. No. Yes and no? What does that mean? Not only Wutai. Kacha Panagane. Kanga Devange. Are those all the tribes you've helped? Hmm. I lead the path. Those people live better. So he's been leading the path for the Rukai people to find better places to live for a long time now, huh? I guess he's done a lot for the Rukai people. I understand now. I'm sorry for suspecting you. It's fine. Heh, <laughs> sorry about that. So, I guess Mr. Leopard is a good god. No good spirit? He may not say much, and he's always got that distant look on his face. But from now on, he'll get a different face from me. One of respect. That Adri and that Adrian Dragani who sent him here? Hopefully this all turns out good in the end. Afterwards, I go back to my seat, wave to Senpai, and focus on our club leader's choreography tutorials for the rest of the meeting. I'm sitting at my desk just as my mobile as my mobile started to ring. It's a call from back home. Honestly, I don't want to pick up. I don't want to pick up, but it's been ages since I've talked to anyone from my family. After a moment of hesitation, I pick up the phone. Hello. <sighs> oh, is this Leo? Is that okay? Leo, my boy, your dad's been missing you. How have you been? Yeah, Dad, I've been fine. Well, I can't really say having to suddenly deal with those three cats is fine, but should I talk about that to Dad? I really want to find out if my family does have a history of having abil ability to see the guardian tigers and other spirits. If Dad finds out that I can do that, wouldn't he just force me to go back home? My older brother handles all the temple work these days. He takes it super seriously. It'd be stupid to put myself in a competition to him anyway. Something wrong, Leo? You seem quiet. Ah, yeah, it's okay, it's just... It's okay, I was just wondering about the books I sent home last week. Oh, they're fine. We just put them on the shelf. For, just put them on your shelf. I haven't touched them since. But seriously, Leo, you should spend so much time. You spend so much time. You shouldn't spend so much time reading novels. They won't help your studies. I, I know. I just read books because sometimes to relax myself. I'm glad to know you can control yourself. And how's school? You keeping up your grades? I mean, I cheated on a quiz just a few days ago, but I don't think I should tell Dad that. It's been going all right. Life has been pretty good here, and dance club has been going well. I'm glad to hear it. Just, uh, don't spend all your life in the club. Focus on study, okay? Mm-hmm. So, when will you be down next? Uh, I'm not sure. When I would- when I would have some time. It's almost Ching Ming. Do you have a- do you have a break, then? You should come back if you do. Okay, I'll see if I can. Looks like an yell. It is water time. E. Hmm. There we go. Water consumed. Alright. Alright, remember to come home sometime and make sure to get enough sleep. Yeah, I'll make sure to sleep early tonight. That's good. Bye for now, son. Bye, Dad. I let her sigh after hanging up the phone. I didn't ask after all. I wonder if this ability I have is real. That I'm not just seeing things. Should I go back home during the break? Dealing with all the guardian tigers back home sounds like a pain, though. Maybe I should just wait until I finish school and everything else in Taipei. But I have to go home someday, and if I can still see them, then... 
What should I do? Hmm, forget it. There's still plenty of time. I put down my phone and return back to my desktop, saving my dilemma for another day. So it's Friday already, huh? Liao! What? What is it? What's wrong? Senpai jumped out of nowhere with intense determination, almost shocking the living daylights out of me. Liao, let's go to the hot springs this weekend. Eh? Hot springs? Mm-hmm. Has it been super cold recently? It's the perfect time to enjoy a nice warm hot spring. Soaking yourself in hot water, munching on some snacks, it's the best thing in winter. I'll let you mention it. I've never been to a hot spring before. By the way, isn't that expensive? Eh, it's not cheap, but it's only the cost of, like, one or two dinners out at, out at most. I'd totally do that, like, once a month, wouldn't you agree? Price for one or two dinners? I already spent, I already spent heaps on books and things this month. I don't think I've got any more money to squeeze out of my budget. Don't you want to go? Well, really, no. You, you only see an anime, and wouldn't we be bathing with a bunch of strangers? And then a pretty girl shows up all of a sudden. Stop talking about anime plots! Besides, Bex Ginger Hot Springs are super rare these days. Actually, they're usually separated by gender. Though, you can get public springs which have a bunch of strangers together. But that's no fun. We can when we can enjoy a private bath with each other. It's a small room with a big bath inside. It'll be all ours. I'd highly recommend it to you, to you freshmen. A private bath? Uh, wouldn't that be even more expensive than the public baths? Oh, well, yeah, but it's on me. You won't have to pay a cent. Really? But I don't want you to waste your money. I mean, it's only like two dinners out, like I said. Just don't think about it. Accept my generosity. Accept my accept the opp opportunity. Yeah, but what I really wanted to say was that's Yanshu Shi's money, not yours. Come on, I said it's okay. You're going to be dis are you going to disrespect your senpai? What? You're not going to disrespect your senpai, right? All right, fine. Let's go for it. Yeah, it's a bit strange, but I couldn't refuse him. He really wants this. In what feels like barely a second, Senpai was already on his phone looking up the hot spring for the weekend. The next morning, we take off in a bus heading to the depths of the mountains. Eventually, we arrive at the old street village surrounding the hot springs. Wow, there's a lot of people here. It doesn't appear vastly different from the main street back home. Many people. Oh, so you've never been here, Liao? Nope, I'm from the south, so I've never had a need to. Really? But this place is famous! You've been in Taipei for more than half a year now, and you haven't gone sightseeing at all? I have no money! Aw, you poor kid! You don't need to call me kid, senpai. Well then, let me... your... let me, your wonderful senpai, introduce this place to you. Now, where should we start? Alrighty, did you notice how we drove beside a creek on the way up here? Since there's heaps of actual hot springs here, a bunch of them are directly connected to that creek. So basically, the creek itself is warmed by the springs, though I've never had a chance to feel it personally. I've even heard there's a bunch of private baths nearby. Most of the houses behind these merchants here probably have them. You know, I wonder what came first, people finding the hot springs or people building the old street. Besides, I don't think it'd be a great idea to just go, into the, go in the creek water. Some people do it because it's free, but it's probably not the best idea. Now then, enough with the boring stuff. Our destination is over there. Let's go! Senpai hurries me along the street enthusiastically. The other two walk behind us. A lot of these wares seem quite familiar. I look around. Preserved plums, roasted corn, almond tea, mochi, and so on. It's pretty typical for a market street like the one from back home. Back at home? It's like, you know, water time. Alrighty. I look around. Okay, I already did that. So a few special things do catch my eyes, for example. Mm hmm. There's some wild boar sausages. Leopard is currently staring at them. Liao, we should get this. Tiger is drawn towards the roast suckling pig, which has been prepared into tiny meat cubes right at the shop. Nah, we should wait to buy food until until after our bath. I could do with a snack, but considering I have to eat whatever tiger and leopard want to, I suddenly feel super duper full again. Senpai's right. We might as well go to the hot springs first. All right, come on, guys. Let's get there already. Hmm. Huh. I end up needing to push Tiger and Leopard to pry them away from the food and get to, and get them moving. Luckily, there's heaps of people around, and I don't and I don't stand out doing so, even if I am pushing midair. Hey, over here! Senpai runs into a nearby building. The building itself resembles a traditional Japanese inn. He walks to the counter, handing two booking slips to the receptionist. 
Huh, so Senpai already had booked everything online and printed? I didn't even notice. He's more on top of things than I thought. The receptionist finishes booking us in and we're led to our bathroom. At first glance, the bathroom is big. Our marble pool takes the center, center point while its water steams from the hot spring toward the back of the room. Toward my feet near the entrance is a small resting area. Even after several more glances, I'm still astonished by its size and grandeur. How upscale. Lavish. Why does it feel like they're scolding me? It's not like this was my choice. The staff member shows us where we find some robes, towels, and drinking water. Then they remind us of the time limit, which us to enjoy our time and leave us be. I think I missed some of that. All right, Liao, the clock's ticking, so let's get started. You can store your clothes here and your robe is hanging up over there. I don't normally use the slippers, but you can use them if you want. People sweat a lot from the heat in here, so even though you're in water, don't forget to grab a drink. Got it, Liao? You seem like they're, you seem like quite the regular customer. I love hot springs, after all. I wouldn't recommend any less than the best for you, Liao. But this place seems expensive. I don't think, I don't know anything about hot springs, but I know this room can't be cheap. <laughs> don't worry about it. I had some discount vouchers, so it wasn't that expensive. It's a great chance to host you somewhere nice. But really? I'm still uneasy about this. Is it really okay to just let Senpai pay for the bill? Liao, I told you it's fine. Anyways, isn't it cool that we get, that we get to have four people in here with only two tickets? Four? Oh, yeah, there's us as well as Tiger and Leopard, but should they really be considered as people? I agree. It's quite the deal. Heh, <laughs> I knew the old man would see reason. Anyway, come on, let's stop wasting time talking. Take off your clothes, Liao. What? What? You gonna get in those in with those clothes on or something? Did you even notice the shower over there? Hot spring rule number one. Clean yourself before stepping into the spring. I I know, but I know this is pretty normal at a hot spring, but this is way too embarrassing. Uh Senpai should go first. Hmm? Oh, sure, no problem. I'll just Senpai turns on the faucet, the bath beginning to fill. Next, he starts to remove his clothes, then and there. What? Wah! It was so sudden, I didn't get a chance to walk away or give him space. I can't just keep staring at his naked body. I turned my head away in a meager attempt to restore Senpai's privacy. But yeah, what are you doing? You must take the shower sooner or sooner rather than later. Yeah, I know. Why is this his business all of a sudden? Just turn around! Second like, you know, water time. Hmm. Alrighty. Hmm? Alright. What a timid child. I send a sharp look around the room, making sure nobody is watching me. The sound of Senpai's shower patters on the floor as I begin to remove my clothes. I try to get it done quickly. I try to get it done with quickly. Once my clothes are off, the patter of the other shower de sh the patter of the other shower ceases. I turn my head to look, but I don't see Senpai. Right here, the owl. Senpai is already shoulder deep in the freshly steaming bath. Water's ready, Liao. Hurry up. Please, don't keep staring at me, Senpai. Okay, okay. You're so shy, Liao. Senpai looks somewhere uh, somewhere else for the moment. I turn my shower on and hurriedly wash myself. Now all that's left is to slip into the bath. Hot. Careful. Ah! The warning too late. I retreat almost as fast as I went in. The heat was more than I had anticipated. Be careful, Liao. You gotta get in, into the bath slowly and let your body get used to the temperature. And that'd be great, but I don't want these three staring at me the whole time. I take a deep breath and ease down to the steamy water. Whoa, that's awesome! <gasps> I sit in the water, suffering through the burning feeling taking over my whole body. Are people supposed to think this is relaxing? Likalau, old man, come on in! Even if you guys don't have bodies, you can still enjoy the atmosphere. Well, let me see. The water really is rather hot. Target puts a paw into the water. As if he wasn't even there, the water refuses to ripple at all. Hmm. Leopard just shoves his entire arm into the water, grimacing from the heat. Ah, so hot! Well, it's gonna hurt if you get in too fast, though you'll probably feel really good once you're used to it. Why do I feel like you're implying something? I'd say you're the one with the impure mind here. Damn it, you're the one who said it, senpai. All right, I will try this hot spring. Um, what about your clothes, though? I mean, sure, Tiger's clothes aren't real, but it'd still be strange to see him wearing them underwater. However, as soon as he fully submerges himself, his clothes disappear in the blink of the eye and blink of an eye. What? Where are your clothes? Hmm? I took off my garments. You wouldn't bathe with them on, would you? 
All right, guys and gals, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, y'all. Bye-bye.